Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 18th of June 2020 and the time is just gone 9.30 for the summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is silver. If you take a look at the wider view, from about late, mid to late March onwards, it's been in a nice upward trend. Uh, in early June, it hit its highest level uh, in, over, in over three months. Uh, and since then, it's drifted ever so slightly lower. But we can see here that it is still above this red line here, which is a 200-day moving average, and that comes into play at 16 spot 90. It acted, um, that metric acted on a few occasions nicely as support. So it's quite possible that that, that metric is going to continue, continue to act as support, but obviously there are no guarantees. And while it holds above this metric, it's likely we could see Kind of the wider upward trend of the last few months continue. So if you press on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting the high set in early June. And if you go beyond that, we could then be looking at targeting this area up here in around 18 by 85. And if you move beyond that, we could be looking at targeting the highs that were set uh, in early September in around 19 spot 65. So these are the areas to keep an eye out for uh, should the kind of wider bullish trend continue. On the flip side of the divide, it is worth noting, uh, we did see a move to the downside. We saw a lower low, a lower high, and another lower low. So it's possible that that silver could be about to turn lower yet again. Uh, and if that is the case, if we do have a, a decisive break below this red line here, the 30 moving average, it could take us back down towards this zone here, which is where this yellow line, the 100 day moving average, and this blue line, the 50 day moving average, seem to collide. Uh, and that comes in, and that zone is in around 16 spot 28. Uh, we can see on a, in a few occasions, um, the 100 day moving average acted as resistance back in March. The 200 day moving average acted both as resistance and support uh, in May. So, so those two metrics on the own have been reasonably important. Now that, that, they're, that they're overlapping, it make, it'll make this, this zone potentially fairly important. Uh, and if you do have a 30 size of break below that, could, that, could, that could take us all the way back down to this area here, down around a 14 spot 54. Now, if you are going to trade silver, uh, it's worth keeping an eye on what's going on in the gold market. Uh, and we're doing that because uh, of Dow theory. One of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other. And what that essentially means is that markets that are fairly similar tend to move in the same direction at the same time. Uh, and there's a reasonable degree of correlation between gold and silver. So if you, if, you're, if you spot that silver is in an uptrend, and if you're wondering if an upward trend is going to continue, perhaps the gold market can give, give you some insight. So we can see here that gold has been, has, been, has been in a fairly strong position the last few months. In fact, the level of hit in mid-May was a seven, seven and a half year high. It's um, it's been a bit range bound recently, but it's, it's still holding above its 50 day moving average. So gold's in an up, uptrend, which as you saw a moment ago, silver is in an uptrend. So then we can become more confident that the bullish move is, go, is going to continue in silver. Obviously, there are no guarantees, uh, but it is something that is worth keeping an eye on. If you are trading silver uh, or any market today, uh, just keeping in mind, um, at 12 o'clock today for the summertime, the Bank of England have their interest rate decision. Uh, that could impact volatility in sterling and therefore the US dollar. And commodities such as silver are listed in US dollar, so we could see a move in the back of that. Uh, and later on today at 13.30 for the summertime, we have a number of uh, economic announcements from the US, uh, the Philly Fed manufacturing, US counting claims, and US jobless claims once again. That could spark some volatility in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the US dollar. And should that be the case, that could ripple out um, to an impact on uh, dollar quoted commodities such as silver. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Have a good trading week and good luck.